I think all of us that are standing here and the members of the House and Senate always are very much supportive of education. And how we fund it is where we have our debates sometimes. But most critically, as the Senator just talked about, is the loss of life is so uh, a possibility that we like to forget about sometimes when we talk about infrastructure. Because when we talk about infrastructure, we a lot of times talk about raising the gas tax uh, or raising registration and driver's license fees. But here's an opportunity for us to add to that pot of money, depending what happens with other transportation funding, to bring possibly six to eight hundred million dollars into that pot and start working immediately as we start to sell our state liquor stores. As you heard Jerry talk about earlier, that these are programs that I know, without a doubt in my mind, school districts will count them as part of their budget. We've seen it. I remember sending a letter out to school districts back when we reduced the amount of money that was being attributed to the state pension fund and ask them to set aside money for the pension fund because it was eventually going to be needed. I remember sending a letter out when the federal stimulus dollars came in and said to the school districts, you need to understand this cannot be a part of your budget day in and day out. It's for one-time funding. And they still did. School districts as a whole have never paid attention to this General Assembly. They always expect more money. And when we give them a program to help get them up to speed on any number of things from math and science, they think we're going to fund it forever. And what Jerry has proposed here, I think, when you, you look at the needs of this Commonwealth for job creation, and Jerry's bill does that. It creates jobs in this Commonwealth, and that's the jobs that we need, the private sector jobs. If we're going to turn the economy around, we don't need more state employees. We don't need more teachers and firefighters that are on the taxpayer's dole as such. Nothing against any of those. And maybe some cities need more police officers. But the truth is, if we don't get the private sector working again, and that's what this is, it's a private sector job creation bill that protects the safety of the people like Senator Argyle's talking about, but as well also creates jobs in our economy and also for transportation needs of businesses in Pennsylvania. So this is, bill really does a lot of things, Jerry, and thank you very much for putting it together. It's easy for us to sit down and agree with the governor on spending money on education. And I don't disagree with the ideas that he has out there for the different programs and how to spend. This is not a disagreement on his programs that he's even proposing. It's simply we feel that there's more of a need right now for that money to go into infrastructure improvements. I don't know there's too many people, particularly in any part of the state, that doesn't believe that the, our infrastructure in dire need with bridges uh, and highways that need to be changed. Right here in the Harrisburg region, you can talk about the connection between Interstate 83 and 581 to 81. That has been a project that's been under consideration for a long time. And we're talking $1 billion there. And the price is going up every day with inflation. Other projects in every part of the region, whether it's bridges in Pittsburgh or other highway construction in Philadelphia or Allentown. So it is a need that all parts of our state need. This is a bill that, in my personal opinion, does not inflict on to the taxpayers any higher bills. It's money that's going to come into the state as we sell the liquor stores, and it's going to be a benefit to us in job creation. It's going to be a, a benefit to the businesses who operate in Pennsylvania who may choose to work, move here, and it's a safety issue as well. So I think, Jerry, you did a great job of putting this bill together, and thank you very much.